All right, I'd like to welcome y'all back to another episode of Tippy's Midwest Cooking Show, and today I will be teaching you guys how to make beef ravioli covered in bacon and cheese in a crock pot. So first you're going to take your ravioli, pour it all in your crock pot, and then we're going to have cheese. And I like ends and pieces bacon because I feel that it's meatier and juicier. And then we've got one can of pasta sauce, meat flavor. And then another can of pasta sauce for cheese flavor. And then at the store, you can actually buy bags of beef ravioli. Mine was $2.98 from Walmart. Alright, so after that, you're just going to move your crock pot back. And then you're going to take your bacon, and you're just going to slice it and throw it in as you go. There's nothing wrong with using raw bacon in a crock pot. It'll cook just the same. If you want, you can cook it on the stove first, you know, to get it that little extra crispier taste. But I figure, you know, at eight hours of cooking time, that'd be long enough, and I honestly don't always like my bacon crunchy, so I'm doing it like this. Alright, as you see, I'm just chopping up the bacon in smaller chunks. It doesn't matter what size you do, you know, if you want, you can even throw whole slabs of bacon in there. And then cut it up as as you eat it. But right now I'm just chopping, trying to go as fast as I can. We got another package I wanna part of another package I wanna add, so I'll make sure that you guys don't actually have to sit here and watch me chop the whole time. I just wanna get this a little bit. Alright, there we go. That's how you chop your bacon. All right, now our bacon is all sliced and in there. You're gonna take your cheese and you're gonna take half your bag. My hands are all slippery from the bacon. Like I said, you're gonna take half your bag and you're gonna pour it over the top. And I actually came up with this idea because um, my, my cousin and a friend of ours, they made a, a ravioli pizza. And I said, you know, that'd be really good with bacon on it. And then I thought about it and I was like, oh, that'd be so good in a crock pot. All right, so there you go. As you see, you got your cheese in there now. And then we're gonna start out with our four cheese pasta sauce. You just take a can opener. And open it like so. Alright. And we'll just pour that in. You can take your spatula and just get all that sauce out of your can. Right, move it back forward again. All right, and then you're gonna take your other can, you know. And if you've got a homemade pasta that you, sauce that you would like to make, you know, that you prefer over buying store bought, and by all means, go ahead. Like I always say, my recipes are at your disposal. You can always add to them, take away from them, whatever you want. And just take that can, pour it over the top, get all of it out. And then 
and since all that cheese is on top, you're gonna take something, and I'm gonna use my fork like I always do, and you're just gonna wanna stir it up the best you can. And that way it gets all mixed in there. All right, as you see, everything's all mixed up in there nice and good now. Oh, and um, you're gonna wanna make sure that your ravioli is frozen when you put it in the crock pot, otherwise it might become too tender and just fall apart and just turn into a mixture. All right, then we're just gonna take the rest of our cheese. Our spatula and move it around and actually I've got another little bag of cheese that I can put on here quick just crumbles and you can use whatever kind of cheese you want this is what I had I honestly I probably should have pulled out some mozzarella but you know, what can you do? All right, just dump the rest of that bag and pull it over the top. Cover it nice and good if you want. You can, you know, even your, your mixture out in your crock pot. And you're gonna want this to cook for seven to eight hours, you know? You can open it at the seventh hour and decide then, you know, if you wanna let it go a little longer or if you think everything's good enough. All right, so like I said, seven to eight hours. So right now it's 10 o'clock. So if we go for seven hours, it'll be done by five. And if you wanna go for eight, it'll be done at six. I'm probably gonna go for seven and a half, you know, just to meet it in the middle. And then you're gonna turn your crock pot on to low. Toss your lid on and I'll see you guys in seven and a half hours. Alright, it is now 5.30, that means it's been five and a half hours, or seven and a half hours. And as you see, it's all done. Now for putting on a plate, you're going to want to use a slotted spoon, because as you can see, everything's kind of greasy from the bacon so I think next time I'll probably just fry the bacon up first and that way I can screen out the grease all right and that's what you get homemade ravioli with bacon and cheese so I want to thank you guys for watching all my videos i want you to go out comment like share it like i always say show it to the world you know if there's somebody you know that doesn't know how to cook or wants to learn new recipes tell them about tippy's midwest cooking show <laughs> and i cannot wait to eat this it looks so good all right y'all have a wonderful night thank you for watching